This is Doug, you're always on board. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to import video files, audio files, anything that you need to bring into Premiere Pro in order to make uh, the video that you're looking to make. At the top left of Premiere Pro, you'll see that it says import media to start. You can double click in this location right here, or you can hit command I as a shortcut or go up to file and then import. So I'll just double click in this box and then I'll select all the footage that I wanna select uh, for my edit and just click on import. Depending on how many clips that you choose will depend on how long it takes to actually import the file. Um, and so it could take uh, maybe up to a minute. Once the files are uploaded, you can see that they're all over here to the left um, and I can go through and I can choose which files I want to use to edit. Um, one of the things that I wanna show you at, uh, at, the, at the bottom of this little uh, box is that you can actually make you can make these thumbnails on each video clip actually larger. So if you have uh, trouble seeing or if you just rather see the image as a bigger uh, bigger image uh, before you select it, then you can do that. Uh, it looks pretty good with two rows. Um, and you can also hover over the video file and kind of scrub to the left and the right just by moving your mouse left and right to see what the file actually has inside of it before you decide to put it in your timeline. And another thing too, uh, something that I usually do is you can click down here to the list view because sometimes you don't even need to see the thumbnails. Sometimes, you know, it's just going to take you opening up each file to look for the specific thing that you're looking for. Um, if you click on list, uh, it'll, you know, it'll come, or it'll preview as a list, like I said. And then in order to see what's there, you would just double click this little green uh, wave file and then it'll appear here in the, uh, the video um, preview. And like I said in a previous tutorial, if you click on this file and it brings it into this area, that does not mean that it is in your timeline. So you'll actually have to find uh, the exact video that you want. If I don't like that, then maybe I like this, this video. And then I can just click right here and then drag it into my timeline. So now that I have a video into my timeline, this is actually, uh, this is what's gonna be rendered if I was to go render a video, uh, which is showing up here at the top right. So that's how you would import videos. Uh, same thing for audio files or images. Uh, just double click, command I, or go to file import in order to bring those files into Premiere Pro. Um, also, it's a good idea to have your, your file that you're gonna be working out of in a place where you're not gonna move it or you're not going to um, you know, change the name of the file so that nothing gets messed up on your Premiere Pro timeline. So my name is Doug, you're always on board. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys learned uh, something new today. Uh, if you have any requests, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below. Um, and if you like the video, hit like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.